What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a segment I have not done in quite some time called the Criterion Corner. This is where I select a film from the Criterion Collection and talk about it in detail. And today I'm talking about a film that was just recently added to the Criterion Collection. That was a movie I went into completely blind, solely based on the cover art, and that film is the 1997 movie Cure. Cure is directed by Kiyoshi Kurosawa. A wave of gruesome murders is sweeping Tokyo. The only connection is a bloody X carved in the neck of each of the victims. In each case, the murderer is found near the victim and remembers nothing of the crime. Detective Takabe and psychologist Sakuma are called in to figure out the connection, but their investigation goes nowhere. So, if I was going to use one word to describe this movie, it's brilliant. This is unlike anything I've ever watched. This is one of the most hypnotic and just brilliant films I've ever seen. So the story starts off, you see this man in this room with this woman, and he's in there, they're getting up, seemingly he had, they just had sex or something, and he ends up murdering her and carving an X into her neck. And the cops end up showing up, you have our lead character who's the detective, who gets there and they actually find the guy like in a ball out in the hallway outside of the apartment. And when they start to ask him questions, he doesn't know why he did it. He, he says there's no reason why he killed her. He feels absolutely horrible about it. And so there's this string of murders that starts to occur, where like the description said, these people have X's carved into their neck. Well, it's all tied together to this one man who has amnesia, who he shows up to these people, has a conversation with them, smokes cigarettes near them, and there's this fixture on his lighter. Plays a really pivotal role into this film. When he leaves, the person snaps and kills someone that they're near, whether that be their significant other, their co-worker, and for some reason, they're committing these acts, and this detective is essentially like driving himself insane trying to figure out why this is occurring. While at the same time our detective who's the lead character, his wife is going through uh, mental health issues and she's she's forgetting where she is and she's struggling to kind of just be there on a day-to-day -day basis. And he's trying to support her but he's also overworking himself. He comes home and she'll have like gone to the grocery but she's gotten lost because she doesn't remember how to get back home. And so you have that familial dynamic mixed in with this really intense murder mystery that introduces this mysterious character that we're trying to to unravel why he is doing the things that he's doing or if he's even conscientiously causing these things to happen and it's just a truly fascinating and brilliant study into the human psyche it's just it's one of the most phenomenal films I've ever seen the cinematography is absolutely breathtaking and I said this in my letterbox review this has some of the best sound design I have ever seen in a movie the sound design in this is so pivotal to creating that mood and that atmosphere and there's sounds that are consistently reoccurring throughout the film that it almost feels like the movie is hypnotizing you in a way and it's like you're hearing it over and over again you hear this sound of a washing machine and a dryer over and over again there's so many sounds that like just thinking about this I watched this movie a few days ago and thinking about it over and over again in my head there's sounds that are consistently repeating themselves and the cinematography is so beautiful the shot selections in this film just really kind of you know make you feel like you're you're seeing something from a distance that you shouldn't be seeing and putting yourself into this situation and it's so well done it's a lot of it reminded me of Michael Haneke's cache and the way that it's filmed very similar uh, in style and and in mood and tone especially it really felt like a Michael Haneke film which I really love his movies and I'm always appreciative to watch his work but this movie is just so hypnotic and incredible the performances all the way around are so fantastic I was so appreciative of all of the actors in this film. They're people I hadn't seen in movies before, but they were so great. And I think what's great too is you get all these other side characters introduced that really add to this world and make it feel so lived in. It feels like a really great crime novel while adding in some amazing elements that are super unique and out of the norm comparatively to what you would see in a traditional crime drama. And Criterion typically only picks up the best of the best and this movie is just amazing. There's that cover art shot of 
of the mysterious stranger smoking a cigarette where you just see his lighter flicked up and the light there. There's a shot in the film where our detective walks into the room that he's in and he's smoking in the dark and you just see that, the light coming from the lighter. And it's just such a incredible shot that just makes you feel that mood and that atmosphere. There's all these like really empty spaces in the film as well. I love the way that our detective's house is constantly shot. There's always this shot where it's like sat in the back of the room and you see through an entryway of the front door and it just feels feels empty and hollow just similarly to what his life feels like because he's never home and he's never around his wife and there's so many great parallels to the visuals with the overall mood that the film's trying to convey to you and it's just an absolutely brilliant experience i can't believe that it took me this long to see this movie i know criterion just announced it but that's the beauty of criterion as a whole is i feel like they do such an amazing job picking up some of these movies that deserve more exposure and this is a film that deserves all of the exposure that it's going to get. I hope people get around to watching this. It's one of my favorite movies I've seen in an incredibly long time. Just absolutely brilliant. It was released in the late 90s, but it feels absolutely timeless. Just watching it, this, it's one of those movies that doesn't feel like it will ever feel dated, even with like some of the technology being different now. It just feels like you could put this movie in a time capsule and that it could exist in any era and work the exact same. And it's just truly a brilliant experience. And if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend you go check it out. So if you've seen Cure, did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was absolutely brilliant. Really took me by surprise, and it's truly just one of the best films I've ever watched on the Criterion Collection. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.